Hey everyone, in today's video, I'm gonna show you how you can build lists of leads that you can then upload into your Google and YouTube ads audiences for custom targeting. But before we dive into today's tutorial, please hit that subscribe button. It means the world to us. Now let's dive right into it. So for this process, we're gonna start by using Sales Navigator. As you guys know, this is pretty much the pro version of LinkedIn. I suggest using this instead of the free version because it offers way more filters to perform a search. Now I'm gonna show you how to perform a search using these filters and how to export it. So we can actually use those search results to go out there and find their email and contact information. Now, let's suppose you are a SaaS offer that provides billing and booking services to diverse medical practices. Now let's go out there and find med spas and Cairo for this search. So let's type in med spa. You're going to hit search and you'll start seeing your initial results on the right hand side. As you can see, we got over 45,000 results here. So we're going to start narrowing this down very easily using the filters that we have here. So how do we use this filter section? I like starting by location or geography. I'm gonna narrow this down to the United States. I'm gonna include that. You can also exclude countries, right? So you can pick a country and hit exclude instead of include and make sure that it doesn't filter into your search results, which is, I think, super cool. I like using the company headcount to make sure that I'm targeting medium-sized businesses. So let's go for 11 to 50 employees. And as you can see on the right-hand side, my search has began to narrow down. So we have way less results now, but I wanna go even further simply because, and keep this in mind when you're doing this task, we're gonna use a tool called Phantom Buster and they scrape through your search page results and they can only scrape the first 2,500 results out of a single page result. So make sure every search you perform has under 2,500 results, okay? Use these filters to your liking and filter those searches out. Now, I'm going to go for seniority level and I'm going to go for senior. And that has narrowed my search down as you can see, but still it is a little bit above 2,500. So I'm gonna go for job title and I'm gonna type owner. I, I wanna make sure that I'm, you know, addressing key players in this industry or this space. So I'm going to include owners into my search and that has narrowed it down a lot, right? So what I'm going to do is create a Google sheet, a blank Google sheet. Yeah. And I'm going to copy the URL of my search and I will paste it pretty much into my sheet. And I'm going to repeat this process for every search I perform until I, I'm done. Right. So I'm going to go for, let's try instead of owners, let's do CEO and let's do, um, I don't know, directors. And I'm going to, again, copy the URL for my search and paste it here. Now, once you're done, you're going to use this Google spreadsheet. So make sure you save it with a name that you can recognize it. I'm going to go for Med Spas and Cairo Sales Navigator Search. And before we move into the next step, I'm going to show you uh, how we exclude leads from this search. So as I was saying, you are a service provider for medical practices. Let's say you want to make sure that no one who is providing the same service is going to, you know, get into your search results. So what you can do is pretty much exclude industries or specific offers. So let's say I provide IT services to these med spas. I'm going to exclude this industry. And this is also going to be a cool filter. So you can use filters that include stuff as well as exclude options as well. So the, feel free to play around with these filters and narrow down your searches to whatever you like. Remember to keep this underneath 2,500 leads per search result. Now, once you have your list of URLs, we're going to export them and move to the next tool that we're gonna use so we can actually scrape through our search results and extract all their personal and contact information. This is called Phantom Buster. So go to phantombuster.com. It offers a huge range of solutions and automations. I really, really recommend this app for a ton of your marketing efforts. Today, we're going to focus on the Sales Navigator solution alone, but there's a lot more you can do with this. So make sure to create your account, of course, before we begin. And don't forget to download their Chrome extension. It's going to help make things easier so you connect to your LinkedIn account through the app and the extension itself. So 
we're going to go to solutions and we're going to go to sales navigator and the solution we're going to use is the search export and in here you're going to pretty much copy paste the access link to that google spreadsheet that you made with all of these search urls so you're going to make sure that you're able to share this to anyone with the link super important okay now you're going to copy the link and you're going to put it here now you're going to hit save and the next step is pretty much connecting to your LinkedIn account. So as I mentioned earlier, if you downloaded the Chrome extension, this should be easy peasy. I am using Neil's sales navigator for this exercise. So you will see his face pop up as soon as I connect. There we go. We hit save. And honestly, for the next steps, I usually like to keep things by default. And again, as I mentioned earlier, sales navigator only displays the first 2,500 results of a people's search. So to get more, you need to alter your search query and use multiple search URLs. This is why I had you guys build a list with multiple search URLs to make the most out of your searches pretty much. So I'm going to hit save. In here, you can select the launch frequency for this scrape. I like to keep this manual and it gives me a little bit more control, but feel free to explore this further and set it to your liking. The only thing I would say to watch out for and be cautious is maintaining your sales navigator health account. If you scrape like a maniac, then you need to be careful because you could get flagged. But for this, which is a pretty narrow search. I'm just going to go with manual and hit save. And you can rename this search if you want to, to easily identify it. So let's go for med spa and Cairo and just hit save. That's it. And you can also alter the settings anytime you want to by hitting the three dots and going to the setup page. You're going to hit launch and it's going to start pretty much scraping through your LinkedIn sales search results and get you all the personal data and all their contact information when possible. This is going to perform a search for 2,500 profiles at a time. So once it's done scraping through that number of searches, you're going to have to press launch again until this process is done. So the search was successfully processed as you can see here, you're going to go to the results page and you're going to be able to visualize all the information that the automation extracted and you're going to download these results into a CSV file. And I strongly recommend moving that CSV file into your Google Drive, which is what I'm going to do now. Once you've dragged your CSV file into your Google Drive, you're going to open it up. And I usually do this using Google Sheets. So if you can, go for it. Honestly, it's a, an easier way to be able to edit this file because we're going to do a manual cleanup of this list now, right? So let me take a quick look at the results. As you can see, there's a ton of uh, columns here with a lot of information that Phantom Buster was able to obtain. I usually like to keep the fields or columns that are actually relevant to me, and that will be useful for our next step, which is the email finder. So let's get rid of some stuff here. For example, let's get rid of the full name column. Maybe this column is also useless to me. So let's get rid of it. Honestly, you don't need more than I would say go to first name, last name, company name, role or title. Their LinkedIn profile URL is also important. Company website or company LinkedIn URL is also important. Location may be important. Everything else I would say is not that relevant. Now the list looks kind of like this and I'm going to do one more thing here, which is making sure that there are no duplicates. So I'm going to go for data cleanup and I like hitting the remove duplicate button and keep only the relevant information. Okay. Now, honestly, I like working using my desktop version of Excel for this. So I'm going to pretty much extract this into an Excel sheet. So you hit download and I'm going to open it up using my desktop version, the Excel. It's going to allow me to do massive edits and pretty much get rid of all the fluff and irrelevant information. Now you will find once you open this list of leads that a lot of profiles in here don't actually match the criteria for your search. Somehow, a lot of profiles that are not relevant are going to find their way into your search results. And we want to make sure that we keep only what we're looking for. Okay. So it might be a bit tedious to do this, but believe me, it makes a huge difference. And it will also save you a ton of money pretty much because the next steps of the process are subscription models or credits that you need to purchase for every single lead that you're going to be looking up data for. So let's just look up those who are actually important to us and get rid of all the others. Right. So again, let's go back to my example. Let's suppose we are a SaaS company that provides services for med spots in Cairo. So I don't want to have dental practices in my search results. So what I'm going to do is pretty much hit control F to find, and I'm going to use the keyword dental. And as you will see, a lot of dental practices will show up into my results. So I need to get rid of them. How do I do that? Control A, 
and you're gonna hit delete delete sheet rows very simple you can use these keywords to get rid of all these uh industries or type of practices that you know are not relevant to you and then what i also like doing is making sure that no one in a type of position or role that is not important to me meaning not a key player or a decision maker for this company will be in my search results so the way i go about this is i usually make this sorted by alphabetical order. And I usually just make sure that I don't have entry level positions here. So I'm gonna go for, look, let's go for assistants. Let's see, we have actresses or actors here. These are not relevant. So we're gonna delete them all, okay? So we're gonna start pretty much manually deleting anything that doesn't make sense to us. So in my case, if I'm searching for key players within a medical practice for Cairo or Medspas, I wanna make sure that I'm not reaching out to nurses. So I'm gonna get rid of them, to the receptionist. So pretty much, delete anything that's not who you're targeting okay now again this will take a little bit of time but honestly it makes a ton of difference okay now for the purposes of this tutorial i have already cleaned this list up and have a cleaned up version to show you which is this one i've deleted absolutely everything that's just fluff for me and once my list is ready yes we can take this to the next step now the next tool that we're going to use is called drop contact app dot drop contact.com you need to create an account of course and they offer a lot Lot of subscriptions pretty much uh, suitable to all depending on how many credits you want to purchase and this depends on how many leads you're going to try to find emails for okay the platform is pretty self-explanatory super easy to navigate nothing complicated all you need to do is drop your file here once you've finished doing the manual cleanup of your list so i've already have as i showed you a cleaned up version of this list this is super simple you just hit process your file and it will start using the data you fed it to find these people's contact information, specifically emails. Now, this takes a little bit of time, depending, of course, on how many leads you are scraping. So be patient. You can go about your day and it will send you an email not notification once it's done. I'm going to show you how it looks once it's done, because again, I did this to save some time and don't have to keep you guys hanging here. So once it's ready, the status column will say ready instead of processing, and you'll have a file that you can download pretty much. So again, we're going to download this list and I'm going to show you how this looks once drop contact has finished working. Now, again, a lot of columns with irrelevant stuff will pop up. So another manual cleanup needs to be done. So we're going to get rid of all of the columns that are not relevant to us. Most importantly, I like to keep only the rows that we have emails for. So the way we do this is I usually stand on this column, which is the email one, go to beta, sort this alphabetically. And the first rows are the ones that are having information here. So you can see that now you're going to delete everything else. So all the ones that don't have an email, you're going to get rid of. Make sure that the emails that you found are actually relevant to you. Now, as you can see from a list of about 2000 contacts from my initial search on Sales Navigator, I was able to scrape around 530 emails, which is pretty cool, but you'll need to continue this exercise until you've gathered a thousand emails minimum. This is what Google requires to build your custom audiences. So don't get frustrated. It takes time, but honestly, this is totally worth it. Now I want to make sure that I keep only relevant columns again. So go through the cleanup again, make sure you remove irrelevant columns, make sure you remove irrelevant leads and have a saved version of this. Once you're done, you're going to go to the next step, which is verifying these emails. Now, this next app that we're going to use is called ClearOut. It's app.clearout.io, and it's going to help us verify the emails for these leads that we scraped. Now, this step is not mandatory, and it's honestly a little bit expensive, but it makes quite a difference. Reason for this is Google has certain requirements to ensure that a match list is effective. So a customer match list, again, as I said earlier, must contain at least a thousand emails, which should be active users, and the data should be at least, I would say, 90 days old tops. So to make sure that we match those requirements, I usually suggest going through the verification process. This is also a credits based subscription. So purchase only the amount of credits that you need to perform your search. If you're on a budget, just skip this step overall, but I strongly suggest this as a best practice otherwise. Now we want to make sure that we repeat this process as many times as we need to, to gather those thousand emails that we need. You'll probably need to do this exercise twice based on the fact that we we were able to gather half of the necessary emails that we needed to build an audience. So 
This is again, a super self-explanatory platform. You can use your own Google account to create it. So you sign up super easy. And then you're going to go to the email verifier section. And in here, what you're going to do is go to the at list button and upload the list that you have cleaned up after performing the drop contact email finder. You're going to browse file and you're going to upload it here. You wait for it to upload. And once it's uploaded, you're going to pretty much go to verified lists so you can complete the process. So you're going to go to email verify lists and you hit the verify button. Now this process can take a little bit of time. Again, pretty much the same thing has happened with drop contact. The app needs some time to go through all the data that you gave so it can verify these emails. So again, for the purposes of this tutorial, I've already done this exercise and I'm going to show you how it looks once it's finished. You can see the amount of leads that were scraped if there were any duplicates, how many of these emails are actually valid, how many are invalid, and you can download your list here and you can select if you want the guaranteed deliverables. This is important if you're also doing a cold email or some kind of outreach. You can also select deliverables with risk, which means they're active, but they're might bounds. So you pick which ones you wanna download and you just hit the download button and you get a third list. Now, once you've downloaded your results from clear out, again, you're gonna have another list and yes, you need to do another manual cleanup. Well, the purpose of creating these lists is to actually upload this information into customer match audiences using the Google Audiences Manager. So get rid of columns that are useless to you and clean up one more time the leads that don't match your criteria. So the success rate of your Google Ads customer match audiences largely depends on the accuracy of the data that you're feeding it. And this will improve your targeting a lot. This is why I make such a point of focusing on these manual cleanups regardless of how much time it takes to finish this task okay now what google does with with this information once you've uploaded it is pretty much go out there and match it against users on platforms such as gmail shopping search YouTube. And what it's going to do is create customer match audiences that you can use for your search or YouTube ads. And that is pretty much steering the wheel for your ads towards those who are most likely interested. Now, if you want to learn more about how to create audiences and to explore your targeting options for 2024, make sure to check out this video right here and stay tuned for more from the links team.